Howdy mates, good late morning, it is Sunday, July 30th, 2023, it's hard to believe that it's already approaching the end of July, that's insanity, uh, I know that I've been a little absent for a little while, just uh, due to some personal reasons, and also just recently I went through a uh, wisdom tooth extraction as well. All four of them. So, still feeling it right now. At least somewhat. But fortunately my uh, pain medication has been keeping it a bit more what you call minimal. So these past few days I've had to take it quite a bit easy. Just so that... You know, at the sites of where your teeth were extracted, you'll have a chance to form their blood clot and will allow healing to occur. So anyway, I figured as part of an easier day, I'd go for a visit to the Oscar Scherer State Park, which is up by Osprey, Florida. I haven't been here for a good minute just because... There was a time I was coming here often, but then I wanted to change it up a bit. Yeah. So, something I actually want to mention with you guys, you know, especially in light of how the weather has been behaving down here, you know, we've started to see that some of our heat index. I've had us reach temperatures of, you figure, 115 or so degrees Fahrenheit. So it's it's been very toasty down here. And that's including the heat index. But something fascinating I wanted to discuss is how is temperature really recorded? Well, as a matter of fact... You know, we have the common belief that air temperature in direct sunlight is hotter than air temperature in the shade. However, I recently came to learn that such a case is not true. As a matter of fact, air temperature, whether it is in the shade or even in direct sunlight, is the same. So that being said, what, how did that, how did that belief really begin? You know, like, why did we start believing that air temperature is different in the sunlight? Well, it's the way of how our body per perceives it. So like, when you are in direct sunlight, the ultraviolet, radiation coming from the sun's rays is hitting onto your skin. So essentially, when that occurs, that energy, it's hitting a surface, and as a result, it's creating heat. So oftentimes, when we are out in direct sunlight, it does feel like it's hotter. But the only reason it feels hotter is because of the heat production coming from our skin being exposed to the sun. So that's why oftentimes when you're in the shade, you're feeling the actual air temperature itself without any interference coming from the sun's rays. Now, what was the? So that's why oftentimes in the study of meteorology, thermometers should oftentimes be placed in the shade. 
That's how actual temperature is recorded. That's why, like, if a thermometer is placed out in the sun, you're going to have a little bit of an inaccurate reading based on that fact. But I just thought I'd mention that with you guys because that's really been a high subject matter down here in particular. But like right now, we have a dew point of around 73 degrees Fahrenheit, which is <laughs> which is quite insane, come to think of it. That's a pretty high dew point. So what that basically means is if it's as low as 73 degrees Fahrenheit, that means that's when dew is produced. It's it's like a gauge, basically. So really, it's like the higher the dew point, the higher the surrounding air temperature is going to be in order for water vapor to be present, or in this case, dew. Because usually dew points are a bit lower than that. You probably figure they would range in the 60s or even the 50s. So it's, yeah. And you figure the humidity, like the relative humidity, that refers to the percentage of humidity that is present in the air. So that, so like relative humidity is what gives the air a heavy, <clears throat> excuse me. So it gives the air a heavy feeling as soon as you go out in it. Because there's a lot of water vapor in the air but it hasn't been it hasn't went through condensation yet in the form of dew so when you add that humidity plus the actual temperature that's where you get that piece of the heat index where it feels really really hot and right now we've been setting a little bit of records, you know, especially for this time of year, with it only being in July going into August. I mean, we're, we're not even done yet. So, quite lately, we've been having some heat advisories, too. For those of us who are out here, we have to be very careful. Just because, for another, when humidity is higher we're also going to sweat much more than what we normally would <laughs> so that's why staying hydrated having some snacks with you is absolutely crucial so all right you guys you have a good one take care and of course stay safe in this subtropical climate all right journey on a journey is outwards take care folks see ya